carnivore plant? Is that possible? Plants that eat insects and even mammals? Hi guys, Kay Booster here. Let us explore the world of some plants that also eats flesh. But before that, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Tropical Picture Plant The main thing that distinguishes Cobra Lily It looks like a cobra snake about to strike. The Cobra Lily or Darlingtonia californica is a rare plant native to the cold water bogs of Oregon and Northern California. This plant is truly diabolical. Not only does it lure insects into its pictures with its sweet smell, but its close pictures have numerous see-through false exits that exhaust its desperate victims as they try to escape. Oddly enough, naturalists have yet to identify the natural pollinator of the cobra lily. Clearly, some type of insects gathers this flower pollen and lives to see another day. But it's unknown precisely which insects is that. Trigger Plant Despite its aggressive sounding name, it's unclear if the trigger plant or genus Stylidium is genuinely carnivorous or simply trying to protect itself from pesky insects. Some species of trigger plants are equipped with trichomes or sticky hairs which capture small bugs that have nothing to do with the pollination process. And the leaves of these plants secretes digestive enzymes that slowly dissolve their unfortunate victims. Pending further research, though we don't know if trigger plants actually derive any nutrition from their small wriggling prey or are simply dispensing with unwanted visitors. Portuguese Sanju The Portuguese Sanju or Drosopilium lusitanicum grows in nutrient-poor soil along the coast of Spain, Portugal, and Morocco. So, you can forgive it for supplementing its diet with the occasional insect. Like many other carnivorous plants on this list, the Portuguese Sanju attracts bugs with its sweet aroma, traps them in a sticky substance called mucilage on its leaves, secretes digestive enzymes that slowly dissolve the unfortunate insects, and absorbs the nutrients so it can live to flower another day. By the way, Drosopilium has nothing to do with Drosopila, better known as the fruit fly. Roridula Native to South Africa, Roridula is a carnivorous plant with a twist. It doesn't actually digest the insects it captures with its sticky hairs, but leaves this task to a bug species called Pamiridea roridulae, with which it has a symbiotic relationship. What does the roridula get in return? Well, the excreted waste of Pamridea roridulae is specially rich in nutrients that the plant absorbs. By the way, 40 million year old fossils of roridula have been discovered in the Baltic region of Europe, a sign that this plant was much more widespread during the Cenozoic era than it is now. Butterwort Named for its broad leaves that look like they've been coated with butter, the butterwort or Hinus pingicula is a native to Eurasia, North America, South America, and Central America. Rather than emitting a sweet smell, butterwort attract insects that mistake the pearly secretions on their leaves for water, at which point they get mirrored in the sticky goo 
and are slowly dissolved by digestive enzymes. You can often tell when a butterwort has had a good meal by the hollow insect exoskeleton made out of chitin left on its leaves after their insides have been sucked dried. You can often tell when a butterwort has had a good meal by the hollow insect escoskeletons made out of chitin left on its leaves after their insides have been sucked dry. Venus fly trap. The Venus fly trap is other carnivorous plants. Maybe not the biggest, but certainly the most well-known member of its breed. Despite what you may have seen in the movies, the Venus fly trap is fairly small. This entire plant is no more than half a foot in length, and its sticky eyelid-like traps are only about an inch long. And it's native to the North Carolina and South Carolina subtropical wetlands. One interesting fact about the Venus flytrap to cut down on false alarms from falling leaves and pieces of debris, this plant strap will snap shut only if an insect touches two different interior hairs in the course of 20 seconds. Water wheel plant for all intents and purposes, the aquatic version of the Venus flytrap, the water wheel plant has no roots, floating on the surface of lakes and enticing bugs with its small traps. Given the similarities in their eating habits and physiology, the traps of the water wheel plant can snap shut in as little as one hundred of a second. Are you amazed in our video? If you have comments and suggestions, please do so. Until next time, thank you!